What's up, guys? And welcome back to Akaristan. Welcome back to Contraband Police. We've got cargo goods today, huh? Okay, first truck's pulling up. We got some notices, though. Entry regulations. On April 19th, 1981, the Ministry of Transport is changing the regulations on the import of goods into Akaristan. The requirement for drivers to have a cargo list has been introduced. Any discrepancies in this documentation should result in refusal of entry. We've also got a new suspected smuggler here. Overheard a telephone conversation. Nationality Al Barak. Got to look out for that. I think um, if we bring up our our handbook here, we should be able to see what the the stamp of that looks like. Al Barak right here. Ooh, okay. Purple flag with the karambit. Purple stationary. Look out for that. We're gonna want to make sure we're uh, keeping an eye there. But uh, sounds like the the you know large cargo orders are gonna be coming through today. That's gonna be a little bit interesting. Excited to see how that works. A lot more space for them to be able to hide items. See what you got in here, sir. Ah. I'll take that paperwork, please. Let me go ahead and grab this. Let's look into you. Ivan Nowakov. Gonna check that. Passport number is looking pretty good. He's valid. He looks solid. Says he's bringing in 10 things of cement, three gas ranges, two refrigerators, two soaps, one toilet, and two flammable substances. Well, we're we're gonna check on that. Let me check your date of expiration here. Everything's a match. Cargo notebook. Okay. So we want to count everything that's in the vehicle. Let me go ahead and lower this. So we've got uh, looks like one, two, three, four things of cement. That's a refrigerator. We've got a range here. Can I hop up? Turn our flashlight on. Flammables. All right, we're just gonna go through toilet soap. Looks like he's checking out so far. He's been pretty honest. So this is what he says he has. I feel like he's been pretty honest here. He's a little bit off though. Three gas ranges. The flammable substances are are not right. Soap is not right either. Okay. So yeah, his his cargo list is uh is not not making the cut. I'm sorry about that, man. We're gonna have to have to make sure that we. Not detain you, but we're, we're going to deny you. We need your inspection report. Cargo list was bad. Denied. Go ahead and flip a, a U-turn there, sir. I'm sorry about that, man. I. It's tough. I feel like because he had less than he said he had, that's kind of a good thing. Like, if you have two flammable things and you say you only have one, that's bad if you have more. To say you have two and only had one isn't as bad, but I also feel like... Maybe not the best look. You got to make sure your your stuff is up to par here. Got a hippie van coming in. How you doing, sir? feel like I've seen you before. Saw you on the first day. You have a whole lot of stuff in here, dude. I'll go ahead and take that, that paperwork, please. Thank you. Let me see what we got going on. Adelet Amiri. Looks like he, he matches up on the, uh, the looks. Passport number is going to be a pass. Date of expiration. Looking pretty good. Oh, he's he's from the, the place we're looking for. Okay, that that's good. Uh, two gas ranges, two oil barrels, seven fertilizers. Big gardener, aren't you, Adelette? All right, I I I don't know if I like this one. Let me uh, go ahead and open this up, get our list out. So we're gonna go ahead and count everything, and then we can unpack it as we go. I think one, two, and three. That puts those over there. So let's just go ahead and. Make sure we're taking a look at everything. We've got our two flammable barrels here. We've got more fertilizer up there. Man, just really take it a, a green thumb, have you? Go ahead and put those down. Let's check these. And then we've got one more back here. So we've unloaded everything onto these tables and things. You know, I, I just don't. I don't trust you one bit, dude. I'm going to go ahead and get our knife out. Let me check what's in here. Ah. Ah! Is that bullets? Okay. I felt bad tearing up his fertilizer, but hey, we found some more some more weapons here. I mean, these for sure are not going to pass the, the check. Let me try to bust these open. He actually does have apples in that one. There's no way there's apples in all three, though, right? Wow, those were meant to, to throw us off the case. Can we open these? He's actually got oil in these. Wow. 
Open this up. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I mean, we've got one more fertilizer over here. Looks like that one's clean. Just broke my knife. I got a big command knife in the last episode, though, so we're gonna we're gonna rock with this thing for right now. Okay, I think uh, apart from the weapons, he's actually looking pretty good, but we are gonna have to detain you, sir. I'm sorry about that. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle, please. And we're gonna put you under arrest for smuggling weapons into this beautiful country of ours. This is the one that we had on the, the notice board as well, so beautiful. All right. Lock them up, throw away the key. We're going to go ahead and throw uh, throw these guys in here as well. Going to be able to take those back to the station when we get a chance. Make some money off of it. But uh, for now, we're going to have to keep the party going. You please remove the vehicle for us. Hey, well, man, come on now. Clean this up. Vehicle's gone. Whole area's cleaned up. We are good to go. We're going to be able to bring our next one in. All right. Come on in, sir. How you doing? Small vehicle here. You got anything in the back there? Looks like we've got an oil barrel and, and maybe an appliance of some sort. I'll go ahead and take that uh, that document, please. Got to make sure everything's lining up. Ati Zoon looks good. Passport number looks good. Valid looks good. We don't actually have to check that every time. Radioactive materials at a gas range. I don't know why you're bringing radioactive materials in if you're a tourist. Let me check my handbook real quick. Do we allow radioactive materials into this beautiful country of ours i feel like that's not a good thing i'm not seeing anything that says anything about radioactive materials though unfortunately so i think you're gonna be good to go i feel like this is a mistake but i mean i think we gotta approve him right i i i, I wouldn't let him in if it was me but there's nothing that says that he can't do that let me get your tailgate for you here sir we should have checked the car better on the last guy, by the way. I bet there was some stuff in his car. Perfect inspection. All right. Listen, if you've got uranium, come on in. It's not a big deal. This is Karastan after all. Oh, basically a lawless land. We totally didn't check that dude's car, though. We 100% should have. We're learning. We're, we're getting there. Can I have those documents, please? Thank you, sir. Looks good. All right. Argonus Sukalov. Looks good. 3R2J1. 25th of May, 1981. Everything looks good. Says he's got two things of sand in here. Well, I will be the judge of that. Go ahead and open this up. Um, I see one thing of sand. Okay. Sir, where'd your other sand go? Because unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to let you in. Um, cargo list was off. This seems silly that we're not letting somebody in because they don't have enough sand, but I, I don't... Where you been dumping sand, man? I, I I don't know. I feel like you weren't being honest with us somehow. Or either that or there was like a second thing of sand back there that I couldn't actually see and select. I'm hoping we didn't lose anything there. Not bad. All right, back to our humble abode. Last day of training is going to be tomorrow. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I feel like every time we turn a corner, this game gets a little bit crazier. Brand new day. Like to check what you've learned. Okay, so we're being tested today. Bring in the first vehicle. Come on through. Looks like we got a VW bus coming. My man, why are you mean mugging me? I, I don't like the look on your face. Do you have something to trade? Small trading. Some visitors will want to trade with you in a communist state. Necessities are often only available on the black market. Small trade can be an opportunity for you to earn extra money. The price of an item in your inventory is the price you paid for that item. Before the sale, you can easily check whether your transaction will be profitable. So like this pack of cigarettes, I can, I can sell that to him and make 38 bucks. That's not bad. He's got bags of potatoes. Coffee, toilet paper, laundry detergent. Dude, this is a whole new thing. I didn't know we were going to be getting into, but that looks good. That was a good deal. Yep. Yes, it was. All right. Let me see them, them documents. Let me go ahead and take these. Do we have any notices? Uh-oh. Cargo lists. Partial registration number OFY. It's not him. Okay. Let me take a look at what we got here. Ron Godofsky. Looks good. 8835. Ah, that's not a match right there, unfortunately, my friend. Looks like the uh, the validity checks out. So does this one. Okay, well, unfortunately, he's not going to be getting in, but we could at least check his uh, his cargo here. Go ahead and open these up. All right, we might uh, we might have to unpack all these. Sorry, man, I got to make sure I'm, I'm being nice and, and thorough here. I'm really hoping that your uh, your cargo matches up to what you claimed you had because having the the wrong paperwork there is. Not, not very good, that's for sure. All right, I think we've got all of it. Let's see if this lines up. Salt sacks says he's got four. He's only got three. Apple crates says, oh man. I might have to start busting these open. See, this is the problem. I, I don't know. 
I don't know if we should be tearing these things apart. He's definitely not. I mean, he's getting turned away. But I feel like we should probably check these. Got apples there. Apples there. Ah, oh, we lost our axe. I think I have another axe over in the police vehicle. See, like, I don't get the vibe that this guy is, is doing anything wrong. Let me grab this axe here. Gonna put this on, too. We're gonna have to buy a lot more tools, dude. The tools uh, explode pretty quickly. But uh, I, I don't think he's doing anything wrong. He's just got bad paperwork. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna just deny him. That's it. Constable, let's go ahead and return the cargo into his truck. He's looking pretty good. I think he checks out. Sorry about the damage to your boxes there, sir. But unfortunately, you are not going to be able to enter this country because you were not very fruitful and honest about your uh, your goods or, or really anything else. Inspection report, we're going to knock his cargo list as well. Give him a fat nope. Get out of here, Ron. Sorry about that. I kind of feel like he was maybe maybe bad. I don't know. At least he's not getting in. He could be bad, but at least he's not getting in. We checked a couple of things. It's okay. Next vehicle, bring it in. Perfect inspection, it says. Got a big boy here. Might be the last one of the day. The mutton chops are strong on this one. All right, let me see these. Crystal Padar. Hey! 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 No way, bro! Go to the police car and chase him. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! Not the lights, siren, and start the engine. Let's go. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He went this way to the right. He went to the right, I'm pretty sure. We gotta get after him. We got our first police chase here. Homie just blew the checkpoint. Gotta be careful about oncoming traffic. Come on, catch up to him. There he is. All right, beautiful. Gotta love that exclamation mark. I was a little bit nervous. I thought he might might be able to outrun us, but we're gonna get him. I do, I, I'm, I'm strapped here. You guys remember, we got a, a nine millimeter in the last episode, so we're... We're not going to be afraid to use it. I thought about pulling it out and shooting his tires as he was running away. I don't know if that's going to work, though. Come on, baby. How do we stop him? What do we have to do to stop him? You want me to pit maneuver him? I know we have to pay for, uh, like, damages to our vehicle and stuff, so I, I'm a little nervous to... Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Do I shoot him? I'm going to have some better trigger discipline than most... Not gonna shoot him. Let me uh, go ahead and arrest him. Get him shipped back to the, the post. Beautiful. All right, do we want to return to the office to see receive new orders in five minutes? Do we want to check? Oh, he's got goats? Okay. I don't think we actually need to check anything, though. I think he was just maybe nervous. I don't I don't know what was going on there. I don't want to miss this call, so let's, let's go ahead and turn this around. Ah, oh, came back for a double check. I knew. I had a feeling, baby. Alcohol. Interesting. All that for some alcohol, bro? I mean, we could check the tires. I don't I don't think he's got anything bad here, though. I think he was he was just a, a bad man making bad decisions. I think he was just a little drunk, a little nervous. He doesn't look like a, a bad guy to me, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw the alcohol in there. Interesting. So alcohol is heavily banned here i guess all right start the engine up let's get out of here shut the door got an incoming call let's go take care of this i don't have to have our siren on the entire time dude I, I love this i love that we're like part cop part border patrol agent part s detective sleuth part i don't know it, it's you know business owner uh, there's a little bit of everything in this it's kind of cool made it back to our uh our home go ahead and pull in here Transfer him to our prison. I do feel kind of bad. All that for alcohol. Like, I kind of feel like we could probably let him go. But, hey, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Got a phone call coming in. Not going to be late for this. Hello? Ooh. So we're going on a rescue mission here, huh? Lost contact. Interesting. Get in contact with Sergeant Gavrilov's brigade at the sawmill. And it looks like they're going to give us a pistol. Good luck, comrade, and take care. All right, this makes me a little bit nervous. Hey, we are strapped up, though. We've already had, we already had a pistol. We got two now. Let's ride out, sir. Let's go see what we got going on. Go ahead and start this engine. So this sergeant and the brigade were looking into something and they haven't been heard from since. 
Sounds like something could be up. Sounds like we could be going into some sort of an ambush or something. Or it could be nothing. They just could be stuck on the side of the road or something. But uh, y'all know us. We're like a Swiffer just sweeping the dirt of this country around. Not really fixing anything. Just kind of moving it across the living room floor. You know how Swiffers typically do? No, we're actually... We're going to go... We're going to go save it here. Uh-oh. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't want to be the first one to shoot. This is corruption. Gets along with criminals. Let's get away from here. I must personally inform. Oh! 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 Well, we can't get out of here. Gotta go for the head trap. Oh, oh, oh. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, I died. Oh, I, I'm alive. I'm alive. Let's go. Convinced of your death, the rebels escape from the sawmill. After an hour, the concerned commissioner sends his deputy with a backup brigade to the place. The wound on your head turns out to be superficial. Unfortunately, comrade Sorokin was not so lucky. Training has been completed. Congratulations. You are ready to work on your own. Perform thorough inspections to advance quickly. A higher rank means higher earnings and access to new outpost functions. From now on, you're on your own. We'll no longer support you financially. Putting the facility in debt will result in immediate discharge. Uh-oh. All right. Looks like we've got some new entry regulations here. Nasty betrayal for the sake of the citizens. Their goods cannot cross the borders. Following the revelation of links between the citizens of the Kingdom of Urkai and criminal groups, the government has imposed an embargo on all goods from the country. Drivers carrying goods and luggage from the Kingdom are prohibited from entering. We've also got some new smuggler tips. Number five is aged 43. Number six has one flat tire. Number seven has a red vehicle. Got to be on the lookout for those. I think we've got uh, some mail here. Fake Help, a humanitarian organization from the Kingdom of Urkai has been caught supporting our nation's enemies. The White Dove, while transporting food for families from the United Rally through our country, sold weapons to the Blood Fist bandits uh oh so we've got some uh, weapons smuggling from the kingdom of urkai we're gonna have to keep an eye out for that we should uh probably if we take a look in here i feel like there's so many things we're starting to have to to look at flat tire red vehicle age 43 kingdom of urkai i'm gonna go find what their stamp looks like kingdom of urkai oh there it is right there okay so official stamps we've got the crown 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 okay look for a crown or a crown with a cog kind of a golden and brown look to it all right how you doing sir good to see you let me uh see that paperwork please okay so we've got seven atayev six usa that looks pretty good let me check your uh your date of birth make sure you're not what was it 41 he's got seven pieces of luggage he is from urkai though so he's not getting in let me um i'm gonna go ahead and take a look make sure you've got all seven pieces do we need to open these is the question i don't know if we want to take these out and open these because if if it's from urkai it could be weapons right i'm just gonna take i'm gonna take a sample here we're gonna take a, a couple maybe one of these and let's see what we're working with we can open this up he's clean there clean okay i've seen enough i think he's clean i just think he's from the, the wrong place let's go ahead and load everything back up into his vehicle Sorry about that, sir. Is that a flat? Ah, that's a flat tire. Do we need to check everything? I mean, we're definitely denying him. He's got a missing panel up here as well. Broken headlight. I don't know. The dude, I think, might just have a bunch of clothes. We're, we're definitely denying him. We could potentially have some contraband in here, but I haven't seen anything. So I, I, think, I think we're just going to finish the inspection. We are going to uh, hit him with the entry regs and give him a fat deny. Sorry about that. I don't appreciate the threats. I can end things really quickly. Go ahead and see yourself out, sir. Thank you. All right. Next up. Come on through. Let's go. Got another flat tire here. And we've got a red vehicle back there. Okay. Justify refusal, it says. Beautiful. How you doing? Let me see those uh, those documents. Thank you. Azar Kamalov looks good. Check his date of birth. 
29 looks good. He is from Urkai, though, so he is not getting in. Let me see what we got going on here. Or actually, technically, if he doesn't have any goods, he can come in, right? Let me double check this, because he had, he had a flat tire on the other side. I'm going to double check, double check. Not seeing anything. I think he's good. I think he's clean. I think he's just from Urkai. If he's just from Urkai and he doesn't have any goods, he's allowed in, right? I'm pretty sure. Inspection's finished. I th he's coming in for work. I think he's good. He's coming in to work for us. That's fine. We appreciate some help. Have a good one, Azar. I hope that was the right call. I'm not sure if it was. But if he's got no goods, he can't be smuggling anything, right? At least hopefully not right now. Perfect inspection. Beautiful. Is this a... Ooh. Red car and a flat? Is that a flat? That's a flat for sure. All right. This guy's giving me sus vibes. How you doing? Trying to talk me up. Trying to be extra nice, huh? Monsieur Rachmanov. I mean, everything looks good so far. He's 48. He says he's got four chemical agents and one thing of cucumbers. I mean, if I've ever heard of anything sus, it's that right there. Oh, we've we've got way, way more cucumbers, huh? More cucumbers than, than we had written down. I'm going to look at all this. That absolutely doesn't match up. Um, I'm going to take a look inside your vehicle, sir. Not seeing all that much. Let me see what we got going on in here. Not seeing anything. Broken headlight. Did you step out of the vehicle for me? Thank you. Just trying to check the seat you were on. I th I think he might be clean. I feel bad because I kind of want to pop these. I mean, we could hit it. He's good on the chemicals there. Does he actually have pickles in these? He's got pickles in those. I think we're good. He's obviously not getting in. Let's go ahead and load his truck back up. He's obviously not getting in because, I mean, he's from the wrong, wrong place. He's got goods. He's not going to be coming in with, with those goods. And he also kind of lied about that. So we're going to hit him with the entry regs, the cargo list, and a fat deny. I hope. What a day. He, he seems like he's just trying to, trying to do his job. He's just not doing a good job of it, if that makes sense. I hope we didn't miss anything there. But, you know, the one flat tire, red vehicle. I don't know. That could have been our guy, but I don't think that was our guy. I think this might be our guy right here. i to find out shortly as soon as he leaves. Justify refusal. All right, how you doing? I feel like all the bad guys have these little jeep things. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, please. I don't want you driving off. He's he's chatting stuff. You know what? I'm not gonna get into politics with you here, sir. Selim Onyan. Looks like that's a match. Passport numbers do match up. This date of birth, 34. We were looking for 41, right? 43. Okay, he... You know, he's talking that, that talk, but he might he might pass the, the vibe check. We've got no reason to refuse him. He's from UR. He's got no cargo. I mean, it, I don't like that he was being kind of aggressive with us, but there's nothing that we're, we're going to be able to do. Inspection's finished. He's got to be approved, right? I can't think of anything we would... We would stop him on. Probably could have checked the tires a little bit better. I don't think we've got anything though. I don't. I mean, you can only get people for something bad that they've done. He hasn't done anything bad yet. Let him on through. All right, next one. Valid inspection. I mean, just because somebody starts talking trash and you know disagrees with you doesn't mean you have the right to refuse them. Doesn't mean they're a bad person. All right. See so we got going in here, Anton. He's heavy into hating Urkai. He could be doing that to get in our, our favor, though. I don't see anything in here. I think he's good to go. You're clear, bud. All right. Uh, I didn't... He's good. Approve. Send him through. All right, so we found nothing today, huh? Our first official day on the job, and we got nothing? That's kind of a little surprising, I feel like. You should probably save that for a um, an another day there. T talking about that when I'm walking in the place is, is not a good idea. So now what we're going to do is... I'm going to throw 
Maybe some of these extras in here because we don't need them yet. We're going to take the, the contraband to the police station. We're going to take the felons to the work camp. Oh, leaving the outpost. As you travel across the ward of Vakar, stand watch out for enemy Oberonkov gang troops. They'll try to recapture their comrades, reclaim stolen goods. When you encounter them, you can run away or fight them to get an additional reward. Oh, shoot. We can be ambushed out here? Okay. That makes things a little bit scarier. But, um, yeah, we're going to see... We're going to drop things, drop them off, drop the goods off. I'll probably buy, I feel like we're always running out of, like, axes and things. So, I'll probably buy a couple of extra axes. Escape or defeat the enemies. I'm just going to run. Oh, shit. Bro, what? I know y'all didn't just do that. Got one. I don't know if we have enough ammo. Got two. Got three. Got four. Let's go. Okay. 70 bucks for defeating the attackers. Oh, we've got we've got plenty of ammo. Can I go loot them? Dead body? Search the body? Hey, we've got shotgun ammo. We've got pistol ammo. What what's the second thing here? We can pull. Never mind. We probably shouldn't have left a, a truck full of prisoners over back behind us, but I'm not leaving this up to chance. Gonna make sure we get ours when we can. Let's go, baby. I'm never backing down from a fight. I don't know where our, our health is. Kind of makes me a little bit nervous because I... I've... Yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna get out of here. Sorry, I was just in a gunfight. But, um, yeah, I don't know where our health is. I also, I think eventually we're gonna have to up... Like, re-up our, our vehicle health as well. We're gonna have to, like, fix it. Because we don't have a driver's side door now. Whew, comrade, you are not gonna believe... What I just had to go through to get these boys here, but uh, it's going to be worth it. I can't even... Previously, I could I could open the door to be able to stop the truck and get out, and now we can't even do that. All right, go ahead and transfer all the prisoners. That's three prisoners. Or two prisoners, sorry. $202, 101 each. Is there a repair shop? There's a police-based cemetery, tools, sawmill, drunken bear inn. A couple of different hotels, motels, and stuff. I don't know how we're going to be able to fix this police vehicle, but that's a priority. Oh, shoot! Oh! I'm not fighting that. I'm not fighting that. No way. Okay. Yeah, we, we need a, a door stat. Which way do I go? I think we take a left here. Holy cow. I don't know where our health is. I, I saw the, the blood coming up on the screen. Is it? I don't know. I really don't want to die here because I'm pretty sure if you die, you're going to go back to the, the first start of the day. And it's it's been it's been a heck of a day. It's been a long one. I'm going to grab like a knife. I'm going to grab a couple ice ice axes. I don't know what's I, I don't know what's best if you want me to be honest. I'm going to grab some stuff to just start banging against things. I don't know if we're wasting money here or what. I do eventually I would love to be able to get a submachine gun. I feel like that wouldn't be a uh, a bad investment. Grenade probably not the worst thing either. But I think for now we're good. I don't like being out here at night, man. If we get an opportunity, I kind of feel like uh, running them over isn't a bad idea. But they, they've always been off to the side of the road. And I feel like this thing isn't really very off-road capable. So maybe not our best idea. See what I mean? There's no way we're going to be able to go through those trees. Okay, yeah, these guys... We got to be careful about this. When we want to leave, we got to make sure that we, we are... Leaving at the right time. Got to make sure we're armored up. Got to make sure that we got bullets and health and everything else. Because that's the third ambush we've had in like five minutes. No shot there outside the police station, right? We're going to be able to come in here. Dude, look. I mean, they got tight security here. This, this is this is not a safe place to live. Let's just say that. Trying to be on the up and up. Trying, trying to be on the good side of things here is not easy to do. But somebody's got to do it. Go ahead and stop this engine. Let's drop off all of our goods. Good day, how you doing? Go ahead and take those. 60, all that for $64. I'm out here risking my life and limb for $64. Can't wait to get that sub, man. We're just going to be able to spray these fools down. I'm nervous. Every corner we come around. All the like, little shiny things off. Okay, be careful, Trev. Dude, if we, if we try to go off-road and run into a tree, we're 100% just getting, getting got. That gunfight that we had was insane. The one where we almost died. All right, back at the post. Whew, we're good to go. Uh, maybe this dude has something about fixing this thing up because it is not in the, the best shape here. Let me see. Mechanic. Yeah, let me let me check on this. Can you fix it? Repair, 50 bucks. 50 bucks to be able to fix the door? All right, she's back to new. Car's been repaired. We are, uh, we're all good to go. Let me 
go ahead and get inside these gates. We're back home and we're safe. All right. I'm going to sleep for the next day and I will see you guys in our next episode. Peace out.